happy Taco Tuesday, Capricorn family. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Down to Earth Tarot. Please hit that like button, subscribe. Let me know where you are watching from. And Capricorns, we're going to get right into it. Sagittarius Cuspers, drop your birthdays down below with the temperance energy. A need to be patient. But this overall energy is really needing to hold your horses about a situation could even be an offer could even be information with this eight of wands messages coming in that doesn't seem right the seven of swords to me is a card of you know somebody being a little shady i mean we got dorothy here all black black tims on ski mask got three six mafia mafia let's plan a robbery plan playing in the background it's giving shady but we see it has to do, having to do with an offer. We see the Empress here. Heavy Earth could be dealing with, you know, some Earth sign people. It could have to do with finances, family, time. Definitely I think of time when I think of the Temperance and the Knight of Pentacles. And that's because patience with the Temperance. But the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight in the deck. So while we see him here with this offer coming in, solid and stable, the most reliable of the knights, it's the slowest coming. So either you need to build something slowly or move slowly when coming towards this offer. Some of you, I feel like this may be an offer for a relationship. But when I see this empress, it speaks to me as traditionally it's a mother, a wife, a female. It speaks to beauty and all these things. But to me, this could be a leadership role. And then we obviously see the weighing out the pros and the cons here. Um... Taurus and Sagittarius. We see our man here with this Knight of Pentacles. I, for some of you, and Dor Dorothy, now Rose is in all white. Some of you, this does have to do with a relationship. Somebody talking about a serious commitment could even be marriage. Others of you, you know, possibly needing to start over or leave a situation behind. Somebody may be coming in wanting to start anew when I think of the color white. Clean, clean slate, fresh. So we see the seven of swords we're going to keep. We see the eight of wands underneath and another seven. Drop those repeating numbers you've been seeing lately here. Illusion. Something not quite being right here with the seven of cups. Hmm. But it also speaks to somebody having many options. Okay, so we got rose over here on the seven. The, de mm, the six of wands and the ace of wands. Interesting, interesting. Seeing that four of cups again. So what is this missed opportunity for some of you? Or also, as we see this four of cups here and the three of wands underneath it, who is this person that might have put you on the back burner? A situation that you might have put on the back burner, or you need to give it some time to really to really sit and think about it. What I'm really getting, Capricorn, is that there's an offer that may be requiring you to move very quickly. That could be the shady energy around it. That you really that you do need to take your time. Like, do not let a person or a situation try to force you to make a move faster than you're ready to make it. You need to control the pace here. Again, all of this earth energy, you being in control. We see the six of wands and this ace. So what is this exciting new opportunity? It could even be to travel, to move, to do something passionate that's bringing in a lot of, you know, accolades, awards, celebration. Somebody being recognized for something. So some of you getting this offer due to the hard work you've been putting in. Others of you working on yourself and becoming more attractive. Physically, mentally, spiritually, when I think of the Empress, getting having the whole package, then what's this deception? Because we see the spider sense is tingling, right? The sevens, the seven of swords, shade, a liar, a cheater, a thief, met. But that could be, is that the energy of the person that's messaging you? Is that they're shady, a liar, somebody that you had to cut off or even a ghoster? What deck am I going to use to clarify? This one. Okay. 
going to the Pulp Tarot since we're dealing with elder ladies. Let's get into the Seven of Swords. Who? And when I think of owls, I think of Libras. And then we have the air energy of the Seven of Swords. The Somebody's reaching out about a commitment. There's no question about that. The Knight of Pentacles, and now we see the Ace. This handout with an offer. I, for some of you, it may be you need to pump the brakes on receiving this gift. Others of you, while I'm saying you need to be careful of accepting this offer, others of you need to be careful about making an offer to someone. Psh. Because we see somebody's coming in smooth talking, laying it out all, all smooth for you. I almost think it's a job offer. Uh, it's like a job offer. It's a job offer or a relationship commitment here with the Empress. Okay. Big boss energy. Taurus. Libra again with the Empress. But again, looking good, abundance, being happy, emotionally, spiritually balanced. You need to, and I get the vibes that whether you are a man or a woman, there's a, there's a woman involved. We've seen three threes, right? The three of wands, the empress, the empress, three, 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 two sevens. You need to be careful about this commitment, definitely. The Seven of Cups. What's the situation that is not quite clear? We see Rose looking all concerned. Come on now with the repeating things. The Ace of Wands. The, something about this offer does not seem right. And really, when I think of the Ace of Wands, the action, like the plan doesn't seem like something's not right about the ex explanation or the execution of the plan to get you to here. It really speaks to an offer that is too good to be true. Those of you that are somebody's coming and talking about commitment, marriage, having children, even here with the Empress, don't get caught in a situation where it's a hit it and quit it. Where somebody's just coming in and out, okay, looking for validations with the Six of Wands. I want somebody to be very careful about not putting themselves in a situation to be used by someone, to be taken advantage of. Because we see somebody, wa stop, because we see somebody watching here looking for a fool, looking for their family, looking for their next victim. Isn't it giving Carol Baskin? Tiger King fans, if you're a Tiger King fan, please drop a tiger in the chat. I'm going to make sure that this is a premiere in the morning family. What is going on? It's giving GW Zoo fam. Who's this wild person? Big player energy with the Knight of Wands. Then we're tripling, quadrupling down on that with the Magician. Heavy Gemini, Aries. This is an offer, again, that if it is right, if you take your time, carefully evaluate, do your research, properly vet someone, it could go very well. We see all, the, we see all of the potential here with this Knight of Pentacles and even the Empress showing up twice. Baby, but if it's all game, this person is dangerous. Right. And the, even the fool, it just speaks to somebody being very reckless. But the Nida wants flighty, inconsistent, possibly drives a sports car, lots of horsepower. And then the magician, like. Again, having all the tools necessary to be successful, but it again, it is that illusion and deception. The magician, like the serpent in the Garden of Eden, being very crafty. But it also makes me think of, oh, the future song, Magic. Voila, magic. Like they just appear and disappear. That's back to that seven of swords. Who's this ghoster coming in, talking about a serious commitment, 
They And let's be clear, watching you from a distance, waiting for the right opportunity to approach you, making sure it's the right time, that maybe even you've healed from a past situation from them or someone else. Maybe they're even hoping that you, you know, you've been waiting for them. But somebody was absolutely looking for their next bull. Mm, the sun, more fire. So there's no question about a situation being very exciting. But the sun's piece of illumination. Again, um, Sophia on the stage. Being seen, recognized, celebrated. But the sun speaks to something being illuminated. New things, happy endings, brand new beginnings. Some of you are real taking, going to take the, this opportunity into your own hands. Doing it without. I feel like some of y'all can do this without this person. Or you have other options and can go in a different way. Like this person is not the only person with other options. You also have that. But their family, there's a need to keep spinning the bottle or to move on or to distance yourself from this offer. The three of wands, again, the watching keep from a distance, but this speaks to letting new offers come in, waiting for the next opportunity. Mm, mm, mm. And the three showing up again, the three of wands twice, the empress twice, the three of cups, a reconciliation, a coming together, a celebrate. Mm. Your I feel strongly that some of you are going to have to pass on giving that offer or taking that offer. And the next thing that crosses your path may be where you actually want to be. Give us more more for this three of wands and this three of cups little situation here. Shout out to the Capricorns out of 33. I think there is a need to walk away from something. Mm, knowing your worth. But it could also be a protecting your energy. Again, something about this does, is not feeling right to someone. And I feel like it's the presentation. So while everything is sounding good, the repeating numbers, the four cups again. Mm. It's the pondering on it that just isn't, something isn't sitting right with somebody. Like something seems like a back door. Offer. And back to that seven of swords that we started with at the bottom of the deck. Something being shady. Somebody being a, a, a salesperson. We've also seen that king of swords twice. Saw him right underneath that magician. Heavy air, Aquarius cuspers. January birthdays. Drop, drop your birthday. And a cutting off and walking away. Capricorns. If it doesn't feel right, you don't have to take it. This, this is a warning not to make decisions out of a scarcity mindset because you have options. I, I almost want to say like you're worth more than what this, what this person is offering you, what this place is offering you. You know, you know your situation better than I do. You know, this is a general reading. Let's get locked into this empress, right? What is this actual opportunity here? What's the deal? Who is this female? Because it's a woman. The emperor showing up twice. Why do I get... It's somebody you dealt with before. It's giving second round, reaching out. For some of you... It, it screams like an X to me with this two of swords. Reaching out, coming in with this offer, but it's not. Mm -mm. I need to be very closed off to this information. It also gives me the, the vibes of being blindsided by this person even reaching out. Like you weren't expecting to hear from this person. For some of you, it might even be a mother, your mother, like a parental figure. I don't know why I didn't say that until now. Family. Who is this ex-lover, friend, family member that is wanting forgiveness and a second opportunity? We see Taurus and Capricorn now, little Virgo action here with the Knight of Pentacles. 
it's the repeating cards for me, family, all throughout this. Which makes me think of the Seven of Cups. That Seven of Swords. The, the mirroring. How the devil will mirror you to get you to believe that you're on the same page, to get you to comply, to agree, to let your guard down. Again, we see the enslaved man and woman here. Shout out to the Capricorns born on the 5th and the 15th. Forgiveness, somebody coming in. It could also be a new contract. Again, look at all the potential. Look at, look at all the material things, yes? Nice clothes. Nice car, you see him well-dressed, smoking a cigarette, nice big building, could be a nice hotel. It also looks like a corrections facility to me. Broop. Message, bondage. There's an offer coming towards you to keep you stuck and trapped that you must, and notice how the man here is in red. Almost everything, the major arcana here are red. A need to walk away when you see the red flags. And some of it may be mimicking you. Again, that mirroring, it only can last for so long. Somebody can only be fake for so long. This is that. An opportunity with a ton of potential. Needing to take your time. Wait and see before you, com before you completely sign up. Mm-mm. Because you do not want to be stuck in this situation. The two of pentacles. I need to use your brain. The two of air and the two of earth. And the two of pentacles is, is very simply needing to make it make that decision. Weighing out the pros and the cons. But also knowing that you have, okay, the lovers. Knowing that you have a choice. Can't make it up. The lovers, choices, and consequences. Decision, the two of pentacles again. This also speaks to me, for some of you, this being a repeating situation with somebody, possibly a Gemini. We've seen a lot of Gemini energy showing up in this reading, but needing to make a decision about somebody who may be still making a decision about you. But it's, again, it speaks to having a multiple offers and like whatever this decision you make opens up the door to making other choices. And I mean, it just kind of, er, er, er. but a need to carefully evaluate your next move as we see not just the lovers, but the devil as well. Like how you get them is how you lose it. How you start a situation is how, you know, it ends. So if it feels shady in the beginning and you haven't even started yet, how do you think it's going to end in the end? Needing to make this decision very carefully here. We see the lovers we see the and we see the offer. Shout out to the people born in the year of the snake. Drop your Chinese zodiac down below. We see Adam and Eve, man and woman. And again, we see two women, Eve and this angel here. That it's giving the temperance angel when we look at this deck. I'm not gonna pull it for this one because we're at the end here, but family. I feel like you have a decision to make about a decision that's going to open other doors for you. I feel like while you're also, if for those of you that decide to take your time, before you're ready to make a decision about this, another opportunity, a better opportunity, or one of equal value, equal of greater or greater value, will be presenting itself. Give this one more for this Two of Pentacles before we ride out. But it is going to require you to walk away first, period, point blank. Recognizing those red flags, the Ten of Wands. Pay attention. Capricorns, that's all I have for you today. Please hit that like button. Subscribe. Join the family. Let me know where you're watching from. Check out my other channels. All my links are down below. And Capricorns and Crosswatchers, I'll be tapping in with you very soon. Keep it real.